Pretty much from day one, Brendan Gallagher's life revolved around hockey, as his father, Ian, once played at the Junior A level himself, was providing for his family while employed by the Tri-City Americans of the WHL. Later, when Brendan was 12 years old, the family moved from Sherwood Park, Alberta, cross-country to Delta, British Columbia, after his father was given a job as the strength and conditioning coach for the Vancouver Giants. And it was during the summers that Brendan was the team water boy and had the privilege of admiring future NHL stars from a distance. It was pretty unique. Not a lot of young kids get the chance to be around future NHL players or NHL players. It was pretty special that not a lot of kids get that opportunity, he says. Unknowingly, when Ian took the job for the Giants, it was possibly the best thing imaginable for his son who would be suiting up for the team himself years later. But before the future Giants star was drafted, he was distinguishing himself in a different way, academically. As Gallagher, who seems to be pretty humble regarding the matter, said, I don't want it to be on record of why I skipped grade seven. It really bugs my older sister. As Brendan's family made the move out west upon his completion of the sixth grade, in Alberta at the present time, high school began at grade seven. But in British Columbia, on the other hand, grade eight. Therefore, in order to be part of the Delta Hockey Academy at South Delta Secondary School, Gallagher had to be in the 8th grade to enroll. And according to him, after being asked what he described as common sense questions by the school, he was given the okay to level up. I think I passed. I must have, he says. And I got to skip grade 7. My older sister has always thought she was the brains of the family, he says. But since I skipped grade 7, I won't let her forget it. And I actually finished one year before her. I use it to get under her skin a little bit. It's been an ongoing joke for us for a few years. After playing in the South Delta Minor Hockey Association, Gallagher was then selected in the ninth round of the 2007 WHL Bantam Draft by the Vancouver Giants, and it was there that the forward began to set himself apart. By the time his WHL career came to an end, Gallagher had shattered franchise records while becoming the all-time goal scorer with a combined 136 and all-time points leader with 280. And his 44 goals in his second to last season with the club were just four shy of tying Evander Kane's single season team record of 48. When he wasn't immersed in the hockey culture as a teenager, Gallagher also enjoyed watching a great American pastime football. And it was then that the Habs forward developed quite the fandom for Cincinnati Bengals number 85 wide receiver at the time, Chad Ochocinco Johnson. Johnson, who gave himself the self-appointed Spanish nickname, was well known for upholding the diva-like image that his previous position portrays. Conversely, Brendan's father has a theory as to why his son was once enamored with the NFL's receiving yards leader of 2006. He's everything he can't be. I think he appreciates flamboyant performers like Johnson, Ian says. Well, all flamboyant performers except P.K. Subban, am I right? For every NHL rookie, their first goal is always one that's special. And it was all that and more for Brendan Gallagher, who scored his first on January 27th of 2013 against the New Jersey Devils. And while you may have already known that much about Montreal's star, what you may not know is that the goalie that happened to be between the pipes at the time was born exactly 20 years to the day before the rookie that scored it. That's right, Martin Brodeur, who was born exactly two decades prior to Gallagher joining the world, shares the same birthday of May 6th with the feisty forward.